Hi folks, Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update on the 10th of Friday, the 10th of December. We're looking at the Dow having had a big spiral to the upside. It went all the way to 35,951. I've been saying uh, for, to subscribers over the, over the week, this whole 35,800 to 35,900 area should offer some resistance. And when it finally powers through, that's going to be very important. But in the meantime, we're watching this, and I wouldn't be surprised if this pullback and loss all the way through Sunday night into Monday for the Dow, because it's in a leg A, it's had seven sessions of up higher highs. That means it's in leg A only, and we should see some kind of a pullback. It doesn't have to, but I'm expecting that it does. But if you look at this, the S&P, SPX, there we are, dot X, the S&P is pulling back from its high. It had a big gap up as well. 4705 was the highest trading at 4684 right now. Uh, this is a leg B, gray leg B, but we're going to be watching this closely. The 46, I would say the 46, 40, 46, 46 area is really important support over the next two days. But so far, this is good action. Uh, QQQ, uh, not acting all that well. It's up a dollar twenty three nine four. I think it's, I think this rotational co correction is impacting the QQQs and the semiconductors, and that's going to last a little while, and that's going to put a little bit of a strain on the upside, uh, and the Dow so far is the leader there. IWM, I never did in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour a few moments ago, acting very poorly. This is the weakest of the week. It's down uh, 63 at 219. We're looking at gold. Gold is trying some kind of a rally here. It's up eight dollars at seventeen eighty-four. It really needs to have a close above eighteen seventeen ninety-eight, then get into the eighteen hundreds. That's what's needed, and it hasn't been able to do that. If you're looking at crude oil, crude oil, crude oil is holding quite nice. It's up fifty-four cents at seventy-one forty-eight. It's in within a trading range. Sixty-nine is really very important support. If it's able to get to the seventy-four fifty or higher area by Monday or Tuesday, that's going to be good. TLT, the bonds. Just doing nothing. They're stuck in a range. The TLTs, it's up 68 cents, but it made a significant 152.99 high five, six sessions ago. And now it's just kind of stuck. And, and the only other thing I wanted to mention is, and I wanted to do that in my show, never had a chance, is that the VIX index, that was a significant high at peak D in the Chapman Wave at 35.32, December the 1st. And now we're down at 20. And that just says to me that we've made a very important A low, not the low, but A low, in the in the market on the, in the beginning of December, how everything holds up is going to be important next week. Have a wonderful uh, weekend and stay tuned for Larry Post event and great programming for the rest of the day. See you on Monday. Check out my opening all my daily newsletter.